One Piece Netflix live action series minifigures. Whilst we were out at Smith's, we noticed these and Eve wanted to open them for video. There is a total of 10 different figures that you can collect. So we got 10 different bags in the hopes that maybe we might actually get one of each. But if not, any doubles, Eve is going to get for herself. The first thing we want to have a look at is the different characters we actually do get. And the funniest one is the one with the red nose. <laughs> so the 10 different characters we actually get here, we get Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Captain Morgan, Dracul, Mihawk, Arlong, Buggy, and Kobe. So who do you think, who, who would you like to get, Eve? I'm the one with the red nose. The clown, that is Buggy. So we're gonna start to open them, see what we get, see what the quality of these figures are actually like. Are you ready? I'm trying to get double buggies. Double buggies. Yeah. But you never know, I wonder what the chance is actually of us getting one of each. I think it's gonna be very, very low. There's no rares, no specials in these, so you never know what's gonna happen. First one. We don't know if these are going to be like a special bag inside or you're just going to be able to see them straight away. Looks like you can see them straight away. Comes in a little, one second, it comes in a little like container inside, a little cocoon there. And the first one we have is Zorro. Then, then I get to choose the next one. Is that right, Daddy? Yes, yeah, so let's have a little look at Zorro there. Can I you can one? see him, him with his three sword style there. Two out and of course his main one still holds at the moment, which he would normally put into his mouth. Because yes, this one here, Zorro, he uses that sword by putting it into his mouth. That's how he fights with that one. It's really cool, Dad. Yeah, it is. It is very cool. Looking at the detail on these, these are actually pretty nice, pretty detailed. There's a lot of little bits on his swords. Not like huge amount of details, and you've got like all the information on the back of the stamp, the embosser basically to say that it's a, an original figure. So then we'll take a look and see what else we get next. One, now you can pick one. You just pick this one. Okay. Can you see what it is? And we have Sanji. Sanji he is on the go and merry. And again, hey look, it's very cool. Of course, just keeping an eye on his eyebrow, which is like one of the unique features on you see. Hands in his pockets, ready to do some kicks here and there in his nice little suit. These are decent quality. The paint works really well on them as well. But there you go, two for two. Any mini mini mo. All the way over here. No, the one. That's empty. Third one. Oh, this is the one. Oh, it's not. I, I thought it was going to be Dracula Mihawk, but it's not. It's all along. Let's see, have a look what he is like. Wait, can I pick it up this time? From what I could see on the little image of him, his nose looked a bit weird. But if we take a closer look here now, it is actually proper, properly serrated. You can see all the little bits in it, which makes him look a hell of a lot better. Very angry, of course. Very bulky. And again, paintwork. A lot of the paintwork is very simple on these. Nice little transfers, but I think because the simple and straightforward paintwork, they look pretty cool. He's a fish man. I like his skin because it's like purple. Um, purple is actually my favorite, one of my favorite colors. Three for three, my turn to pick. Okay. Can we get four for four? Of course, gonna let you have the sneak peek, see what you can see in there. And we've got, we got Boogie. That's what I wanted. Boogie and Dracula Mihawk, I think, was the two that, to me, looked like they had the most detail in. And I think you can definitely see a lot of detail there in Boogie. Down to his transfers, his hat, his little knives, and the rest of the garment. And his red And he's very bright as well, isn't he? He's got a very nice bright hat and bright hair. And, of course, his big red nose. But in the series, you can't mention his nose, because he doesn't like people talking about his big nose. He does. He gets, he gets very upset about his big nose, doesn't he? We're looking good so far. Four for four. Can't complain. Which one next, Eve? Can we go five for five? No. Double, double. Let's have a look. And it is Usopp. So we are going five for five. And here we can see Usopp there with his slingshot. Of course, in the Netflix adaption, he doesn't actually have that big, long nose that we know of and actually love of Usopp. But still, cool little figure. Nice pose there. Got all that detail again. Of course, he had to have his slingshot in his hand. I got five for five. Eve You've got the next one. <laughs> Five down, five to go. We're doing pretty well so far. Can we see? Can we have a look see what it is? What is it? This time. And we've got Luffy. Six for six. This is going pretty well. And Luffy, since you've not seen it, Luffy is like a rubber man. He can make his arms stretch and his legs stretch out and stuff. 
That's why he's got a big arm there. He's wearing his straw hat there, all nice, happy, and go lucky as always Luffy is. That is very cool. He's got his um, little, little scar on his face. It's a highlighted as in it's just have the black line on it, but the scar is actually one of there. His arms is already stretching. Yep, he ate something called the devil fruit. He ate the gum gum devil fruit, and that's why he turned into a rubber man. Daddy. We are doing awesome here. Six for six. Let's keep this party going. Let's keep this momentum going. See what we get to. Double, double, double. Well, we're trying to get one of each. Double, and this one is, nope, it is a double. Yay, I can have it. Can <laughs> so I have Eve it? gets one. They will same way, so we got another one there of Luffy. So we should have three left. I'm going to pick this one and see what we get. I do really want Draco Mihawk. I would love to get him. And we have Kobe. There we go, Kobe, who joined the Marines in the end. Even though he's a little scaredy cat, he did join up. Um. This one. <laughs> Come on, let's get Dracul Mihawk. Yeah, got him, got him. This is the one I wanted. I think he looks very cool. I want. So there we go. I want the Dracul Mihawk with his sword on his back. Of course, not as huge as it is in the series oh, itself, yeah. I want both. but he still looks pretty cool. A lot of detail in there. Feathers in his hat. His eyes. Where the eye, it is really cool. These figures are actually really, really nice. One thing I'll say as well. These were an offer. Um, they were five pounds, which is about six dollars, and I got them for free, so it's about three and a half dollars. That is, there's just one more. We've got the last one. Who don't we have? We don't have Captain Morgan, and we don't have Nami. Could it be one of them? I hope it is. I hope it's a double. Nope, it is a double, Yay! and it is Sanji. I got another one. So I think that was actually pretty cool. We picked up ten of these mystery bags, and out of the ten possible figures combinations we could have got, we managed to pick up eight. So we've only actually got Nami and, who was it, sorry, we've got Nami and Captain Morgan is the only two we didn't manage to get. Now our local store does actually have a lot more in stock. I think I know like 15 plus. So maybe I might try again, but I'm not too sure I'll do a video on it. But we will see. What do you think of it all? It was really good. Do you like the ones you got? Yes. Daddy, can I just I hope you have enjoyed seeing Eve again Daddy, in the video. It's been a little while, hasn't can it? I take, can I tell them something? You can tell them something? Yes, yes, Wink. When I get words of Pinky promises, I'm going to do a video with Daddy on them. Yeah, and so Eve collects these little things called Pinky promises, and, and she wants to do her own little mystery box video about her stuff, don't you? And and they want to get Queen Promise. Wants to get one called Queen Promise, which is an ultra ultra rare, so it might be pretty hard to get. Anyway, thanks very much all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this massive little mystery box thing of. One Piece, a live action series from Netflix. Please do check it out. It is actually, the live action is actually really good. You haven't seen it already. If you love One Piece, I think you're going to love this live action. It's really well done and put together. This has been the Gorgeous Little Eve. My name has been Daniel. Hope you have an awesome week. Bye.